There are 360 degrees. So why stick to one? Ever heard of the statement? These are the words of Zaha Hadid herself. The name that needs no introduction in the architectural world. But what do we understand from the statement? It might not make any sense at the moment, but trust me, you will capture its true essence by the end of this video. What if I told you that there is a way through which you can not only create five or ten, but thousands of design iterations of the same concept? Yes, you heard that right. One concept, but thousands of design iterations. Hi. I am Rajesh and welcome back to Novator where we empower AEC professionals like you by bringing in the latest AEC scoop straight from the industry and the experts. And if this is something that hits a chord with you, then take a minute to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Well, this is a technology that knows no bounds when it comes to creativity and efficiency. All of this and more is possible with the help of computational design. Have you ever wondered how architects and designers come up with jaw dropping structures like this one that you're seeing on the screen that not only look cool and futuristic, but also withstand the test of time. You are looking at one of the many Zaha Hadid's masterpieces, Haider Aliyev Center, located at Baku, Azerbaijan. The structure has an extremely fluid and organic outer shell where the walls and roof ebb and flow into one another. The walls seem to become one. As you can see, the superstructure bends, folds, divides and surges into itself with the tallest point rising and pointing to the sky to symbolize the pride of the Azeri culture. Quite impressive, right? If you look closely, the design, even if drawn manually, asked for changes, it would be practically days of work to incorporate them as one change automatically leads to multiple interdependent changes. Here comes the role of computational design. It's like having a supercharged design assistant powered by computer programming. It's about using algorithms and simulations to explore tons of design options and find the best solutions. Does it sound fancy to you? Or rather, should I say wizardy to make designs? Let me simplify it for you. Basically, computational design combines design with computer science and maths to create and analyze complex structures and systems. But let me tell you, it's more than just creating multiple designs. With CD, you can test different materials and shapes in consideration to environmental factors like sunlight, rain, snow, you name it. And there it is on your toes to bring your imagination to life. Not only that, but CD can take account of natural calamities like earthquakes as well to make sure it's safe, efficient and sustainable. And just not that, you can also check how your infrastructure will look during different times of the day and different seasons. I know your creative mind just got its eyebrows raised and it's not just used for buildings but it is used in almost every other creative field like product design, interior designing, graphic designing, gamification, urban planning and many more. What's more you would ask? The global computational creativity market size supposedly grew from US dollars 204 million in 2018 to USD 685 million by 2023 at a compound annual growth rate of 27.4%. That's like 3x times growth. Now picture this, CD tools dig through a lot of data about where people live, how they get around and what the environment is like. Then they crunch it up all and spit it out in a neat picture for urban planners. It's like giving them the bird's eye view of what's happening in their city. But it doesn't stop there. These tools also help us simulate and model different scenarios. Ever wondered what would go down if we planned a new road or park somewhere? CD lets us whip up virtual versions of our cities to see how different changes might pan out. It's like having a crystal ball for city planning, predicting everything from pedestrian traffic to how pavement should be laid out or even simulating natural disasters. Now look at the screen. What can you make out of this structure? You are looking at one of the fascinating beauties of urban planning, Amsterdam's Zuidus District Redevelopment Valley, a game changer in the city. 
It's a flat landscape transformed into a vibrant valley of stars. Sounds pretty, right? How did they do it? It all started with some serious computational design magic, I must say. The valley isn't just about concrete and glass. It's a green oasis in the middle of the city with over 13,000 plants, shrubs and trees. Now that we have spoken so much about the magic that computational design can create, let us focus on what we intend to conclude at the end of this video. It is not difficult to tell that a technology like this ought to be in demand. The current state of the AC industry is marked by a shift towards digitalization. Traditional processes are being reimagined with the help of computational design leading to improved efficiency, cost effectiveness and sustainability. We are talking about a major makeover happening right before our eyes and the impact is nothing short of remarkable. Let's break it down. According to a study by McKinsey and company, digitalization in the construction could boost productivity by up to 50%. That's a game changer in the industry where efficiency is key to meeting deadlines and staying on budget. And by leveraging the magic of CD, companies can optimize material usage, minimize waste and identify cost saving opportunities early in the design phase itself. Research from Autodesk suggests that implementing digital technologies like CD could lead to savings of up to 20% of the entire construction cost. CD plays a pivotal role in achieving environmental goals. The World Economic Forum estimates that digitalization could enable the construction industry to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 20%. Now imagine tackling a project filled with tricky spherical shapes. If you were to manually draw them and made a mistake, it's back to square one, right? But fear not, parametric design, the ultimate wizard of computational design lets architects and engineers quickly tweak models, unlocking a world of creative possibilities without starting from scratch. It's like having a magic wand that unlocks a whole world of creative possibilities. There's digital fabrication and 3D printing that allows the architects to create complex customized solutions like never before. CD also focuses interdisciplinary teamwork between the architects, engineers and the stakeholders involved, leading to a smooth coordination. Lastly, we have responsive and adaptive design, which is all about creating environments that respond and adapt to the needs of users. You can see one of the buildings on the screen right now. So there you have it folks, computational design is a powerful tool that's revolutionizing the way we design and build our world. And you friend can become the wizard of this world, quite literally. Tools such as Grasshopper for Rhino and Dynamo for Revit have become increasingly popular in the AC industry. In 2022, Grasshopper had over 2,50,000 active users worldwide, while Dynamo by Autodesk is estimated to have hundreds of thousands of users. Surveys even show Dynamo as the top BIM scripting tool. These numbers are shaping the future of AC industry. And guess what? You can also join the league of the top 1% architects and engineers who are transforming the AC industry with their CD skills with Novator's Master Computational Design course. Imagine learning 5 plus software like Grasshopper and Rhino along with 15 plus plugins all in one course. That too from renowned industry experts in just one tenth of the cost of a typical master's degree from any university, you are getting global career prospects that too not compromising on your career projects at hand. Now I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. So check out the link to this course in the description below right now. Here's the kicker. CD is still a bit of a hidden gem in the job market. Not many folks out there know about its full potential. That's where you come into the picture. Big companies are always on the lookout for talented individuals with these skills. And trust me, they are willing to pay top dollar for it. According to ZipRecruiter, the average annual salary for a computational designer in the US is $49,000 plus dollars. Even in India, the salary range starts from INR 4,38,000 and goes up to whopping 23 lakhs plus. Pretty neat, huh? So, next time you marvel at a stunning jaw-dropping skyscraper or a beautiful awe-inspiring design of a park, 
just remember behind every great design is a little bit of computational magic and while you're at it feel free to drop suggestions in the comment section below and what you would like to hear next from us do hit that like button share this video now with your ac folks and subscribe if you haven't yet and if you want to know the top five places to learn computational design all over the world check this video out now see you in the next one tribe until then let's dare to disrupt